Today, I'm bringing you to Magnolia, Kentucky. You can't buy an address like that. How fun is that? It's a sweet name for a town. Where do you live? I live in Magnolia. And this is a super interesting property because it's got a lot of stuff. I'm not going to show you the barn and everything, but that is a sweetheart right there. I wish I had that at my house. If they ever come home one day and that's missing, you could look at my house because I would steal that if I could. I looked at the map and you're only 30 minutes from Elizabethtown. You're sitting on 115 acres here. Of course, they have horses. When you move to Kentucky, you got to have horses, right? And if you're wondering what that is, that is some kind of a gas scrubber or something like that. And the entire property has free gas. I say the entire property. The house, the barns, everything has free gas. So you can heat with gas, cook with gas, and it's all free, which is super neat. There's a uh, transmission station way on up the hill there and uh, we'll show I'll show it to you you'll see it in the aerials no doubt that's their neighbor so you just go on out this road here and I'll show you the show you the aerial here and show you the boundaries these are the boundaries as I understand but you got to talk to Ken he's the realtor not me so and he can show you exactly where they are don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications you'll get a notification on your phone every time I upload a new video I'm going to show you this barn. Wait till you see inside. You're going to love it. Uh, if you've seen the still photographs already, you know what's inside there. Very cool. It's got a little uh, machine shed thing on the back there. And then there's a little apartment up, up top and a full bathroom. And uh, it's like double deep. I don't think you can fit two cars deep, but it's super deep in there. Workshop and everything. And uh, that's going to be a real... A real plus for the person who likes to do all kinds of stuff. I don't care whether you like to do woodworking or metalworking or blacksmithing or ceramics or whatever. You're going to love having that barn. we got metal roof. So this is a, the original house here. And then they put an addition on. So you got like 1,765 square feet or something like that. And then 1,000 square foot on the back. You don't want to hear me jibber jabbering. You want to go inside the house and you want to see the property. So that's what we're going to do. So I got to ask you, what would that be worth to you? Think what you'd save. I know it. my heat bill is high, right, at my house. And you have no heat bill here because all your gas is paid for. It's not super uncommon that when those gas lines run through your property that you get free gas. It's very cool. Think about that. That's going to save you a ton. It's going to save you at least a few hundred dollars a month in the wintertime, right? So here's the addition. Everything's done pretty nice too. Nice thermopane windows and all. There's that other barn. Isn't that awesome? Got a lot of open fields. You're gonna see all the aerials. I'm gonna show everything to you. I'm not gonna come in the front door. I'm gonna come in this way. Let's do it. All right. Oh, it feels good in here. The central air is on and I love that. All hardwood floors here, the real oak and then a tile, and then you've got a laminate over there. The addition is all real oak. This is a great room. It is a ginormous room. So I was talking to the lady and she says, we've had 35 people here for dinner. I'm like, wow, that's a heck of a Thanksgiving. So every house has got its own personality and quirky things or whatever. So when we can get back to the office, Ken will say, hey, what did you think of the place or whatever? Well, I'll tell you, <laughs> this is the house of cabinets. They have got more cabinets than I've ever seen in my entire life. There's cabinets everywhere. So if you like to store stuff and if you like cabinets, buddy, this is your place. They've got feet and feet and feet and feet of cabinets here, lineal feet. Then there's another room over there and it's all full of cabinets as well. I want to show you this. So nice. I mean, that's a double deeper thing there. Let's, let's, I mean, we're here. I'm just going to show it to you. This is about a thousand square feet, this addition. That's the size of my whole house. Master bedroom. Awesome closet. Look at that rascal. Yes. All these cubbies. And then plenty of place for all your stuff. Got to have stuff. We all have stuff. I don't know how stuff expands like it does. There's the HVAC. And this is all fairly super new. I'll put it here. I'll find out how new it is for you. This goes right on out. Nice. Lots of closets, storage space. Nice. 
ways. Linens back there, jet tub here, yeah. And you got so much privacy, you just, like, there you go. I mean, you're way out here. You know, you can see how far it is away from the road. This is all open. You just walk right on in, turn on the shower. Sweet. And there's the can. So it's four bedrooms, three full baths. That's pretty cool. Four bedrooms, three full baths. Now, when you come out here, you're gonna say, hey, where's the trim around that window? They've got the trim kit, they just haven't put it up there. I'll tell you what, I don't like ladders. I wouldn't put it up there either. You, you tell Ken, you say, hey, call up Ken, and you say, hey, dude, if you put that trim up there, I'll buy this house, and he'll do it for you. He will, he's a nice guy that way. Gas logs, and they've got good internet here too. I just checked it on my phone. 16 down and two up, and it's like rock solid. I heard the lady talk to Ken and say something about fiber. They have fiber here. So I, don't, I, I don't know whatever that means, but supposedly they have fiber. You're out in the country, but you're not far from a lot of stuff. Cabinets, 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 cabinets. Six burner stove. Well, kind of like five. Check this out. So you got like a griddle. I'm gonna blow up the house. There you go. That's nice. Love that. And it's natural gas. Smells like my grandma's house. You got accent, you know, two different kinds of granite here. So that's kind of accenty. So this is all of them. Okay, obviously this is, uh, this is yeah, this and this room and this room as the original house, right? But look how they open it all up. So you got dining room. Eat in kitchen, and then the great room. And that is a great, great room. Don't you think? I sound like I'm from Wisconsin, don't you know? Here's another bath. It's sharp. It's sharp. They did all they did all kinds of stuff to this place. More cabinets. Bedroom. This is like a, almost like a junior master here. This is so nice. Another closet. I love doing these walkthroughs with you, you know, right away if you want to come see it, or if it's just not your bag, or if it's just perfect. Of course, we want you to uh, come anyway, but it's like, it's like, uh, it's like being here. I have no idea what I'm talking about. All right, check this out. There's some old school tile. Here's a bedroom, another bedroom with a bath, and then of course the other bedroom with a bath. Pretty sweet. Now wait, check it out. Ready? So I'm like, oh, what is this, a mud room or something? This used to be the garage, and they've done a beautiful job of converting it. Now hold on. Don't get disoriented here, I gotta show you. Ready? More cabinets, right? Ready? Ba -ba -da -ba. A ginormous bedroom. Do you love this? I love this. Lots of windows. More cabinets. <laughs> and you can overlook outside. You can you can wake up and you can see your horses. All right, now. Of course, you know Murphy's alive. You know the, you know Murphy's Law, right? You know number one Murphy's Law, don't mess with Mrs. Murphy. I guess she was something else, huh? So Murphy, Murphy's Law is alive and well. They've lived here I don't know how long, never had a problem. We're coming. And that blow off thing uh, for the water heater, it starts leaking. <laughs> so, so they got water on the floor. I'm going to show it to you. And it's literally coming out of this blow-off thing. You know, this blow-off thing that, anyway, so it, it needs to be changed. But it's, I don't think it's normally wet down here. It smells nice and dry. It smells good. Here, this radon thing is cool. So it shows you, shows you the, hold on. 
it shows you that it's got a positive or pressure or negative pressure or whatever with this little flingy dingy thing here down through the floor and where all the gravel are, the gravel is, right? So, and then it's sealed all the way around. You gotta seal it, otherwise you're just not sucking good enough. And it's pulling this right out. Very healthy, it's a lot, lot healthier for you than one without, for sure, right? Port walls, gotta love it. The only way to roll, I guarantee you next time you come, you're not gonna have the, uh, the water heater's gonna be fixed. A lot of storage here, so you could do Maybe a wine room, you could do uh, put up shelves and, and put, make like a pantry down here. Whatever, whatever you want. Safe room, like whatever. Whatever floats your boat. Or like we say in Kentucky, whatever floats your goat. So everything's accessible. So you need, you need to put a new uh, water line in or you need to add a bathroom or you got a tiny leak or something. The heck you got access to everything love love a basement i'd really love to know what you think of this place comment below and let me know and don't forget to subscribe obviously i want you to get access to these new properties before they come on the market so all our people will get two three weeks access before this goes on the market why would you do that because we love you that's why so get on our VIP list, but definitely comment. I want, I want to know what's going on. You got any questions, any thoughts? Let's go on out into the garage or the barn or whatever you want to call it. You might call it the apartment for your boomerang kid or a guest house. Heck, you could do, you know, you could do like Airbnb where you can bring your own horses. That's like a big specialty thing. If you can bring your horses, oh my gosh, people love that. People travel all around with their horses. And you could offer them a place here. Look at this. Yes, sir. Love it. You got HVAC out here. Gas. Free. You got air. You got like spiral vent there. Or whatever you call that, insulated duct. I told the guy I don't like doorknobs, so he took them all off for me. Such a nice guy. See what I mean about being extra deep? I mean, it would swallow up a Suburban just to that bucket, and then you've got, what, 12, 10, 12 feet deep there. I know what I would do with this shop. What would you do with it? I mean, he's got all the workshop stuff over here. All your garden equipment here. More garden equipment, hay storage, implements, wheeler. Yes, it's perfect, perfect. Love this barn. Tomato cages. You want to see the apartment upstairs, don't you? Not really an apartment. You've got, you've got a range here. One would assume that it's hooked up. You've got gas in the building. We know that train. Can't stop the train. You know, it's kind of ironic that I can never spell exercise. <laughs> the jokes don't get any better, folks. And then this is all oak. This is the real deal. And this is it. That's it. That's the whole thing. But certainly plenty big enough. You got a closet here. This one's on this side, same thing. If you live in Manhattan, this is a whole flat for you. You have a bed there, you could throw, you know, the gas is there, you could put a range over there, a little refrigerator. I mean, you have a whole studio apartment here. Like, easy, super easy. All the power you need. And the gym. Now, I assume they're gonna take all this gym equipment, so if you don't want a gym, like me, I probably wouldn't use this as a gym. I'd use this for some other stuff. Heck yeah. So what would you use it for? Vaulted ceiling? I mean, it's, you know, no problem. As a matter of fact, you could, if you think about it, 
you could run a little wall here and enclose this. Well, now you're going to, I can't do that. No. Then you'd be, then you'd only have one car. But if you, maybe you don't like, I don't put my car in a garage. So you put a little wall there and then you got the stove, the bathroom, put the refrigerator down here. Rock and roll, baby. All right, well, there you go. You've seen the house. Now we're going to go for a flight and we're going to see some of the property too. Tons of hunting. I mean, there's turkey, there's deer, all kinds of stuff. You know, there's, there's trails cut all through the woods. You can, you could run, uh, you can run your four wheeler, you can ride your horses. How sweet. And at a screaming deal too. We went through the numbers, right? So you got instant equity. You could not build this for anywhere near that. And plus, where are you going to find 115 acres? That's not common either. Plenty of room for your kids to build houses on, on the property. Absolutely. Yep. Let's go on up for a flight. I really appreciate you hanging with me this afternoon. How fun. I got the best job in the world. I get to go around people's houses, check them out, see how people live, see all different kinds of interesting things, and come to Magnolia, Kentucky. This property is right for you. Perfect. Call Ken. Phone number is right there. If it's not right for you, that's even better because we want to put you on the VIP list. When you get on the, our VIP list, which is right here, you tell us exactly what you're looking for and we'll find it for you. And then we'll send you an email ahead of time that says, hey, this won't be on the market for another two to three weeks. So you better get your butt down here. Can you say that on the video? You better get yourself down here. How's about that? Is that better? Yeah, I think it's better. You better get yourself down here and bring your uh, bring your partner and whatnot and uh, and come see what Kentucky's all about. Thanks so much. Talk to you soon. Ciao. Toodaloo. Okay, so I told you how cool the barns were, right? So you got the garage, then an old barn, and then a new barn. The new barn's down there, and it's got to be, I don't know, 80 feet? Uh, I'm going to put it right here, because Ken will tell me. And this is the old barn, which I absolutely love. It's got an old cattle chute here and a whole second floor below, like a basement. So first thing I said was, I want this wood. Isn't that wood the best? Can you imagine? That would make one heck of a floor. This is a super duper Workshop. Look at this. What would you do here? Put me in a woodworking shop in here. Heck yeah. Little wood stove in the corner. A pellet stove to keep you warm in the winter. You can do winter projects. But it's big. And it's, you could certainly put a second story in up there. Store your, your wood, your extra wood or whatever. Ken's like, did you go in the garage? I'm like, no. It's like, how can I call you people my friend? A friend would show you these things. That's why I came back to do more of this. Look at that. Little, I don't know, little shop within a shop. This would maybe be where you could, uh, you could heat this and then leave this open, right? Anyway, there you go. Real convenient, but far enough away from the house. Let's go down and take a look downstairs. Down here. You're down here? All right, there you are. I'm... I'm videotaping, you know. That's great. Okay, great. Exit stage left. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are. I'm, I'm going to show you the thing. They got grapes going on there, and, and I don't know. The weeds are doing great. I have no idea what they got there, but they do have grapes. I know that. And you got a tire swing. What's a farm and a kid on a farm without a tire swing? See that chute there for the cattle or goats or whatever you got? You get some sheep or whatever. Boom. tractor. I have spent so much good time, good memories on farms in barns. If you have, give me a thumbs up on this one too, huh? Barns are just a really cool place. You know, you get your first kiss in a barn and you get your first job usually in a barn. One of my first jobs was unloading a silo and I hate heights. Whew, that wasn't good. But when you're young, you know, you do anything for a couple bucks. 
So there's the old barn. Here's the new barn. I wanted to show you this. Of course, the house is right there and everything. I wanted to show you inside. It's great hay storage. And they got a tack room and everything. So if you got horses, well, bam, it's done for you. And then all that hay storage. It's beautiful. How big is this, Ken? Very large. <laughs> Very large. Wow. That's why he gets the big bucks. 50 by 60. What? You know what it's got? Is it's got this side shed here. That would, could be all stalls there, right? That's perfect. It's big. 50 by 60, supposedly. And even comes with one of those things. <laughs> freaks! I work with freaks. Okay, remember I said 60 by 50. It's, it's got the shed on the one side and then the run-in shed on this side. So you don't need stalls over there. Not at all. When you got this, this is great. It's great. Fantastic. Magnolia, Kentucky is where this, where we are today. If you want to come see it, you know right away. I wouldn't even fit in that shower. I have to go in sideways. And you can overlook outside. You can, and it's down in the ground. It's down through the, through the, the, uh... Now I assume they're going to take all this gym equipment. So if you don't want a gym like me, Get get around. I get I got the best. Get get around. I get I got the best. Get get around. I get I got the best. Yeah. So you got all this. You got all this cabinetry and, and whatnot and a creepy chicken. That's a creepy, <laughs> that's a creepy chicken. <laughs> and that's a creepy rooster right there. Hold on. <laughs> kind of weird. Well, this is why. I can't wait to see your comments below. Like and subscribe because we've got a number of properties coming on the market that you're going to want to see. Don't forget to go to our website, bluegrassteam.com slash blog for the latest properties we have.